part of students being comfortable in my classroom is, is kind of making an environment where they've got there's a lot of level. Uh, there's a level of familiarity. So for so for example, there might be just little traditions in the class um, that that students will enjoy. So an example might be my greeting to them, which is you know good morning scientists, and 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 they say it back. And if they don't quite say it say it zestfully enough, you know, I say, wow, you seem a little bit tired. You need to show me that you're ready. And I'll say it again. And and you know until they're saying it with a smile a smile on their face. Good morning, scientists. Good morning. Another tradition I have is um, is with a bell that I ring when students get uh, answers right, and it brings in a little bit of suspense into my classroom. Uh, what do you say, Donovan? E. E lungs. Yeah. That's correct. When I think of actually suspense. Uh, is is a great way to build up joy. So if if a student answers uh, gives me an answer, I might hesitate a little bit with my hand near the bell, and I might take it off and you know explain to them that it was incorrect, or I might ring it, and then the you know there's that kind of that sigh of, sigh of relief, and it just brings a little bit of excitement into the day. I think that um, uh, those traditions. Uh, ha having just any sort of traditions in your class, whether you're a, an extrovert and those traditions are crazy, or an introvert and those traditions are just kind of, oh, this kind of makes me feel, feel at home. I know what to expect.